Oh, hello and uh, welcome back everybody. Uh, thank you so much for coming in and uh, thank you for uh, the new subscribers. Welcome, welcome here. If you guys have any questions, uh, look at the uh, email uh, that is in your screen. But um, talking about uh, the energies, the daily wisdom that comes in with the energies is about uh, do you do your inner work every day? Do you do something small, improvements every day? Uh, do you work in with uh, the energies? And uh, the energies, they are energies. They are going to be coming in. They're going to be, you're going to be learning that astrology has a lot to do with, uh, with you. Uh, not only with surroundings and everything, but also with you. Because if you pay attention, uh, you're going to see it a little bit on your screen. The ascendant at 7 o'clock is together with the sun. The sun when are rising the, above the horizon. Uh, that's what this is. And um, beginning with this uh, about uh, for it, um, be patient early in the morning because that's going to be intense energies uh, rising up. You're going to be feeling this intensity. But if you're looking at a little bit from higher perspective, those energies, they're not going to be kind of like of, uh, affecting you. If you look in it to fly, if you are within the love vibes, if you are within the inner peace, if you did that inner work that right now the gravity presents, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. So let's go. Let's go through the charts and, um, and you'll see it in your screens, uh, guys. Here we go. That is this um, triangles here talking about all this uh, uh, energy, this intensity that it's going to be. You're going to be seeing it under authority. Be mindful with the authority because uh, you may be going to be going through authority that people are going to be judging you. They're going to be uh, um, pushing you in there. Be mindful of uh, working with something with an authorities, the documents, the paperwork. Or you're dealing something from the past, like, um, you know, maybe um, some past lawsuits or something that in the material world wasn't quite okay, wasn't quite all right uh, in there. Uh, something that you lost, uh, like a value or things uh, in there. All that comes in, it is about from uh, Jupiter, there is a uh, squaring Venus. You love something and you lost it. You had something that you were attached to it, you lost it. It is about the money and love. We're talking about Jupiter and Venus. Power, growth with love and money. But this could be in a positive way, but this could be in the negative way. But the authority sees all this, which is you, the sun, and um, opposing Chiron and Neptune. You don't see clearly what you had. And look at it in there. It's like, oh, I don't see these friends. I don't want to talk to these friends. And so on and so on. Look your own actions before you're judging. Okay. Look at you yourself. Put yourself on self-evaluations. That is a part of the healing. That is a this beautiful energies that are going to be taken. If you're using this kite right here, these blue lines up here, you're going to understand that this how goes. You're going to be happy in not doing the work that currently it needs it. So uh, here it is. It's 10 o'clock. It's coming. Uh, that 10 o'clock energy is going to be with Mars. Actions. Yes. It's a proper time for actions. 8 o'clock. What are you doing? You're going to work. But you, who do you work for? You work for your family. Mid heaven is up on the cancer. And uh, you guys probably already learned a little bit of astrology here. And looking at this, your mindset is going to be, well, with the family, maybe I got to get the kids to school. Maybe I have to do this for the family, maybe so on and so on. And Mars trying to find a balance with the family. Maybe the masculine energy is going to be like, come on, we are going to hurry up the clock and so on. I got to be late for work. Come on, make the balance. You have things they need to do. Things that it is what it is. If things doesn't go right, you make them right. You're in the control. You are that action time from within yourself. And that's what this ascendant can create a little bit uh, situations. But looking within yourself is going to help you out to achieve a great things. 
So uh, talking about here at uh, nine o'clock, as you see it, the ascendant is going together with the south node, which is right about up here. And if you pay attention, this is Mercury right here. And we have the noon that is at Scorpio. And I'm going to be kind of like a talking to you about a little bit about all this. As you see it, uh, whatever you got it in the past is going to come back and hunt you. If you did wrong things in the past about family, family, understanding family, what you built, what you create, and it wasn't property, it was a toxic, maybe situations and so on. Be mindful not to repeat the cycle, but at the same time, it is like, it's going to remind you like, this is what happens before I'm not repeating the cycles from within me. Everything starts within you. And how are you going to know about this? You're going to know because the moon goes into Scorpio. What is that goes on? The intuitions. The intuition of the investigator. This is going to be like inside of you. If you have anything in Scorpio in there. Uh, talking about your intuitions. Uh, most of the professional cops uh, or FBI agents or whatever CIA situations, they have this moon in Scorpio. Why? Because they are able clearly to go ahead and investigate the things into the dark world, into the dark situations, you know, dark things. Usually those are the people who have uh, Scorpio at their 10th house. And uh, if that is, uh, most of the time, that's what happens uh, in there. But talking about this energy is going to be presenting within you uh, there. And you're going to be investigating who yourself. So uh, within that uh, energy, you're going to be able to find out what it's hidden. As you see it, the moon has this beautiful trine with Saturn and this beautiful sextile with Mercury communications of the things they hidden behind the wall, behind the threshold to yourself. It's important what you're telling yourself. Are you studying things or you're just observing things? And as we speaking about this energy, this energy at 10 o'clock is going to be coming in right in front of your eyes. You're going to be like, I need to go. I need to go see this. I need to investigate this. I need to touch this. Why did this happen? Why did this so and so on and so on? It's going to be in a positive way until a certain point. Okay, now you're just investigating things. But when you find it in the truth, what's going to happen? You're going to find out that tomorrow. And some of you, they're not going to be pleased with the truth. But the truth is truth. It is what it is. But today, that's what you do. That's what you're looking at. And those energies. As you pay attention, Smith Kevin is at Leo. It is going to be very close to Venus uh, there. It's going to be this beautiful sextile with Mars. Mars is, okay, I'll maintain the bows. I'll keep my cool. I'll keep my hold on. I'm going to be okay. Really, some of you uh, really understand beginning of what is it takes to be a masculine energies and Libra. What is that is? What is this divine that it's connecting with that? I made a few posts on the Facebooks talking about divine feminine, divine masculine energies. And also I posted the 42 laws of Maat. And if you guys know what to look for it, that's what that is. You want to study so yourself? Check the Facebook. So uh, talking about uh, later on at uh, 11 o'clock, uh, the energies are going to be, of course, changing. That's going to be this trigger. This trigger is going to become overnight and early in the morning, you're going to feel these energies. I mean, going to feel it about this love, about the Jupiter oppositions, about what happened, who stole the money, who did what with the money. Why did the material things are not good? Why the material things are not great? What is that going to be for you? You're going to be looking at it, that. But that is a, just a preview for about the energies of tomorrow. Don't allow this energy to trigger you now. Before you act, learn. Before you do something, feel. 
before you blame something, maybe the people did something because they did not know. But now they know. Can you blame them now? Where is the wisdom in you? The wisdom is going to be coming from Mars. Okay? That's where it's going to come. Maintain the balance. Maintaining the cool. So, uh, talking about later on at... Um, this is going to be at noon uh, there. As you pay attention, Smith Kevin it goes pretty much together with Mercury. On uh, that point, uh, very beautiful energies. So if you ask me, it's time to heal things. I don't have to be aggravated. Whatever happened, it happened. Can you return the past? No. But what can you do for the future? You're changing now. You improve yourself now. You transform yourself now. You're transmuting the anger now. And that affects the future. Get it? Got it? Good. All right. So uh, talking about uh, later on at uh, 1 o'clock, uh, that is going to be the energies you're facing. That was the early in the morning. If you pay attention, it's mid heaven uh, right there. It's a 28 degrees of Virgo. Uh, in there, just for a second, I'm going to get you back at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. So you guys can see, uh, pay attention to these numbers here in the bottom. Uh, in there. Okay, you see the ascendant is at 28 degrees. Okay, and the mid heaven is 28 degrees. But when you go to a, uh, a 1 o'clock in the afternoon, the 28 degrees of Virgo, it is actually the same place the Ascendant was. So now you're dealing with that authority. That authority is right above. So what you see as energy already move, and now it's right in front of your face. You're dealing with that oppositions. You're dealing with these energies of the authority. You're going to be have to make like a choices, but choices that are already made. You already know what you have to do. All you have to do is seek inside of you what the energies, what then the unhealed parts are, what is your visions that you don't see, and what you need to transform, transmute, and what you need to look and revisit within yourself. Uh, be careful with staying in the past because you may get stuck in the past and you're not going to live into the now. Big warning about this, guys. So uh, here it comes in at 2 o'clock uh, energies uh, there. mid heaven is with Mars. Actions, if you ask me, that it's a pretty much a beautiful time, except like what you see. Uh, I'm talking about the Ascendant energies right here. Let's just move the tables off. This is the Ascendant. As you see, it squares the Sun and it squares Neptune. Uh, Kind of like energy, like somebody's going to tell you, oh, you don't see this, oh, you're blind, oh, you you don't know what you're talking about, you're not this, and you're like, oh, really? You're trying to tell me this to me? I'm the moon, I'm investigating, I'm seeing through the BS, I'm seeing it through all this. So if you see something, play as an observer, okay? While the cop is investigating somebody, doesn't tell him, hey, I know you're the killer. Oh, I know you did the bad thing, so I know that. The cop have to have the proof. Finding the proof. So don't act prematurely of things that you don't know and you cannot prove within yourself. All right. So here is coming at 3 o'clock, the mid-heaven uh, entering Scorpio. That's where the moon was pretty much early in the morning. You see these energies, it's coming. The moon is very beautiful with the ascendant. The moon says like, oh, I know what to do. I know what's going on. Okay. Talking about this Scorpio energy is like, I know where to bite you. I can't come bite you tonight, right now, but maybe tonight, midnight, tomorrow, next day, next life. I'm going to come and bite you. And that's what the Scorpio's energy is. That investigator that comes in, I won't get you right now, I won't get you tomorrow, but I'll come and get you. You guys know what I'm talking about. So looking at within yourself, you are probably gonna have this intuition of digging to the deep, getting into this deeper energies inside of yourself that it's like you're the investigator, but you're also the criminal. All right. Kind of like a funny report today, but it is what it is. But uh, here is that uh, 
energy at four o'clock that uh okay you got this you now you're ready to go and it's like hey um, we need to get out this energy chill it is about chill you're gonna be looking to that energies later on tomorrow not now don't act prematurely on this energy ascendant is a uh squaring right there it's in a capricorn the public servant let's go right away let's get this let's go make more turmoil hold on a second don't make the turmoil yet all right you need to find some more evidence you need to find some more things you need to find more proper communications and as you see it the moon is only had an aspect with mercury she's like keep it quiet mercury doesn't have uh, aspects and the moon don't have other aspects so keep it quiet i know what happened let me plan my strategy let me plan in my things that goes on inside so uh later on at 5 p.m uh that energy of course is going to be changed the ascendant makes this square with the moon I'm talking about uh, again aquarius scorpio uh energies uh in there Things is not gonna be settled down. The the world, this rebel inside of you is gonna be like, come on, moon, move. And I gotta get in and there. We gotta have the compassions of uh within yourself. Mars is in a very good position, so that will be helping you out to calm the storm that it comes in. But that ascendant of the rebellion is like a, come on, I wanna do it. I'm gonna get it. I wanna get this. I wanna know. Stay put. That's all it is. Stay put. Uh, because otherwise, mid heaven, that it's in uh, Sag already, is squaring Saturn, and Saturn is uh, squaring the mean Lilith. What did that mean to you? You're going to be doing something, and all you go, all of a sudden, going to be stopped. Like the things not working out, the things, the situations are not going anywhere. Things are not. And you're going to like, okay, now I understand. I have to stop doing this. I have to wait. I have to learn patience. And when you find things within yourself, that's what's important it is. You to learn this balance, this patience that Libra has with it. Balance. All right. Talking about 6 p.m. And there, as you see it, the energy is a little bit, quite a bit calmed down. The divine energy is on a... Uh, pretty okay somebody comes in it's like don't worry about it divine time it's coming whoever did something it's going to be done whoever happened don't worry about it there is a karma that it's going on in there you have to change and adjust yourself for a better future get your authority for transmission of all this bad energy forgive forget boom ciao ciao bambino ragazzi adios muchachos vaya con dios and that's it. You, some of the things you may have to really do that. Because looking at within yourself is also you to quit certain things within yourself that you're creating. Self-creating pitfalls, self-creating sabotage, self-creating doubt, self-creating things. It's important what you're going to tell yourself at this moment. All right right when you go down and you go up then you're gonna go down now you're going down with all these energies as you see the ascender and the mid heaven uh, right there they're opposing this uh authority probably at 7 p.m you're at home and you're kind of like uh trying to figure things out and so on and this volcano has been blowing today and blue ink and so on kind of like a finding things and you're too quiet at home usually that is a one of the one of the partners knows that the other one cheats or lie or something goes on and the other person is just silent and let the silence speak deadly and uh, talking about these energies be mindful about this guys don't blow up the volcanoes don't create situations don't get in in there don't put your authority what it's not supposed to if you have issues, material situations, or uh, any lawsuits or anything yeah, out of that, don't create anything in there. This energy is not good. As you see it, too much red. It comes in like a big warning because it comes in your face. Okay? 
especially with this energy that it comes in you know what you see what is in your head and this is kind of like a volcano just blowing waiting to pump off so stay stay put if you have to go out for a walk and something's not worth it uh, as much so uh looking at in the next hour which is 8 p.m that energy is changing uh as you see it uh it's getting a little bit calm down uh, from within you the the moon right now is a very let's be a professional let's not act like a kids let's not make a drama let's not make in scandals let's not make in anything like this we're grown up people let's do things and let's have these communications that it's gonna comes in because meet heaven at capricorn that usually it is a um the personal um part inside of you is like okay let's be a pro but that also represents a uh the policemen the firemen and so on so if you had a issues previous hour and the cops comes in the cops will do exactly that they're gonna be let's calm down the situations let's separate you let's go down there but please don't go that route okay just because he's in the chart that doesn't mean you have to use it and abuse it okay and uh talking about later on um uh, for i see that the energies of pluto but that is a what did you do to in the past and it's going to hunt you in your future that is a the energies between the south node and the north node within mid heaven it's like what did i did what happened what did i did all this this is going to be this transmutations of energy you to take that bad energy within yourself is like okay i did the bad i recognize it within me I, I recognize this bad thinking thoughts stinking thinking patterns okay now what i need to do i need to transform i need to stop thinking this because from this thinking i creating this actions uh beautiful self evaluations time so um All right, so here it's coming in. Uh, this is a at uh, ten o'clock uh, energies. The mid heaven is in Aquarius, so that is a squaring uh, the moon, a squaring Jupiter, and that squaring Venus. And pretty soon, that mid heaven maybe it's even uh, gonna be like uh, squaring Venus. That is that about uh, you bring something from the past. You find things that happens in the past. You find the transgressions, you find the trespassing, you find uh, whatever happened. <clears throat> what are you going to do? You're not sleeping, you are trying to see things, you're trying to get in, you're trying to make a revenge. No, it is about you to tell yourself there is a divine energy here between mid heaven and Mercury. It is about what you're telling yourself. Do it the right way, the proper way the right energies because revenge is nothing but a bad thing for you because you staying in that energy of revenge because later on you have to deal with it the consequences of that revenge and i'm talking about uh, 23 o'clock uh, which is it's 11 p.m in there mid heaven is at uh, aquarius that is at opposing the black moon let it the mean one but overall the energy is going to be calm down the energy is going to be telling you hey chill out the things are comes in the secrets are have to be known the situations maybe the person has to make kind of confessions and so on but as you see it the moon begins to opposing jupiter and taurus it's going to be like, okay, tomorrow maybe I go to the bank and I can pull the statement, see what happens. What happened with the truth? What happened with this? What happened with that? And your intuition is going to be working like, oh my God, oh my God. Now I see there is the proof. Now I can go ahead and do what I have to do. But please, if there is something that you need to do with an authority, if there is something you need to do within yourself, if there's something that you need to change from within you, something of confessing from within yourself do it from within you but if you have to deal with others or you have to deal with government situation so on and so on guys take the divine approach let the divine deal with it at some point things is going to get back to you 
all right guys so that's what it was the astro gravitational report hopefully you guys enjoyed it and like it and uh, thank you for your comments and come back tomorrow for another wisdom and astro gravitational report here guys thank you so much love ya